Okay, so we're here at 3860 Sunswept Drive here in Studio City. Now, we're here to check the main sewer line. We obviously cannot check every pipe in these three structures, but we're going to check the main sewer line, and this inspection is based on my opinion. So make sure you have the general inspector crawl underneath, and in physics you're going to have a look. I just want to let you know, I did have a quick little peek under the main house. You can see it's all ABS plastic. Looking at all the roof vents, they all look like ABS plastic, so that's a good thing. This looks like a pretty new building, so... We're assuming that everything's pretty much ABS, but have the general inspector check everything. Anyway, what we've done is we're running our camera from this four-inch two-way clean-out located at the end of the driveway, which picks up the unit at the back, picks up the front unit, and we have our camera in about 211 feet, which brings us all the way to the city sewer in the street. There's the city sewer. You can see it flowing by over there. So we're going to bring the camera back. So here's your connection to the city. Comes back uh, right away to a SDR35 plastic sewer line. <clears throat> so the connection to the city was a clay 8x6 connection, and then it came back to an SDR35 6-inch lateral. It then comes onto the property and changes to a 4-inch ABS plastic pipe, which runs all the way down the driveway. Just to note that the sewer line has a very good grade going downhill, and it's in very good condition. So even though we always recommend that you never flush tampons, baby wipes, paper towels, things like that. All in good condition, very nice and clean. And that where we just went past was the connection to the front house. Okay, so we're going to come out of the clean out over here that's at the end of the driveway i'm going to pause the recording we're going to run our camera upstream okay so we're running the camera from the four inch clean out uh, going towards upstream which actually took us all the way out to the pool house so this this clean out goes all the way to the pool house what i did do is i did flush the bathrooms over here and this little section did come by so um we're all the way into the little cabana over there where the little bathroom is. That's the end of the line. Now we're going to bring the camera back. So this is a cast iron pipe. It obviously is getting a little old. Now as we come back, you're going to notice, and we should look at it real well when it comes back, 
see right over here, go forward a little bit here. See there, it definitely looks like a, like it could be possibly cracked. Yeah, I think it definitely is. Yep, go, go forward there. Okay, so that we've located inside the cabana. There's no roots or anything getting in. It is a very old cast iron pipe. Looking at the inside of the pipe, it's really not too bad. Uh, of course, the, it is cracked a little bit. There's a, that definitely looks like a crack in the line. But nothing has penetrated the sewer line. No roots or anything like that. You know, sometimes it's very difficult to really tell whether it's really cracked or not because cast iron, you know, it has discolorations. There's no, there's no roots or anything getting into it and sometimes it's very difficult to tell on a cast iron pipe whether it's cracked or not. Because sometimes it could be just the rust buildup, on, yep. you know. There's no roots or anything. pretty good There's a bunch of paper and stuff that's why we always recommend never to flush those tampons or baby wires paper towels So here it comes out the clean out over here. I'm going to pause the recording once again. Okay, so what we're doing is we're running our camera from the two inch roof vent. This is for this little unit uh, at the back over here. It ties into the main line with the, with the bath, with the pool house, the cast iron pipe, you can see. So it, this is obviously getting a little old, but it still appears to be in pretty fair condition with minor rust buildup. And as for those possible cracks, it's very difficult to say whether it really is cracked or not. 
because cast iron pipe develops rust and sometimes it gets discolored and you can't really tell sometimes. Of course, those cracks didn't show any roots or anything getting into it, so that's good. So it comes underneath a little unit over here with ABS plastic and comes up the roof vent. It's all very clear, the line. On the whole, everything looks pretty good. So here we come out the roof vent. I'm going to go ahead and pause the recording again. Okay, so we're running the camera from a clean-out located underneath the main house. We just wanted to confirm that everything is ABS plastic. It's all ABS plastic on the main house going into the main line all the way down the driveway. That's all in excellent condition. The lateral going into the street is in very good condition. The cast iron pipe coming from the guest house as well as the pool house. It's obviously getting a little old, but it still appears to be in fair condition in my opinion. Those two suspected areas where it might be cracked, it's kind of very difficult to say, especially in a cast iron pipe, it may not be cracked. Um, it could just be the discoloration of the, of the rust because there's no roots or anything like that getting into it. But we will give you an approximate estimate for uh, repairing those two spots if necessary. Uh, although I think it's probably going to be pretty good. We'll go ahead, stop the recording over here.